What's up YouTube, Stuart Oak here, going to be doing a quick market watch on the new Dragon of Legends set. Going to be talking about probably the most notable, expensive cards in the set, so all in all, I think it is a really solid set, and um, it's a really cheap set, like a lot of the, the best cards are pretty low rarity, and I, I don't think there's one card in this set that's going for more than $20 right now, so I mean, so far, like, the most you're going to be paying for one card is like $20, I think that's like the most expensive card, but anyway... Unfortunately, there's no images available yet on Amazon, but I mean, uh, you can still bear with me with the text. First card we're going to be talking about, Mathematician. Um, one of the first cards to be revealed from this set as a really key card. It is a really good card. I mean, it's like Card Trooper. You summon it, you send something to the graveyard, and then it's a, once it gets destroyed by battle, it's a free floater. So, just... Really solid card, going for a good old ten dollar. It is a secret rare, by the way, so it's going for around ten to eleven dollars on the day of release. I guess that's a pretty decent price. I kind of expected it to be a little bit more, but I mean, there's not like one key deck that's doing amazing right now that people are going to play this card in. So I mean, that's probably the reason. But you know, still ten dollars, really, you know, um, good price. So this is one of the better cards to pull. Going on a Black Sonic, it's the new Blackwing Trap Support card. Going for pretty cheap right here. Um, five left in stock, so six um, sixty-three. Uh, that's rounds to around like a seven dollar range. Um, but anyway, pretty good. All the other Blackwing cards, I think, are super rare and they're really cheap. And um, from what I heard, they're not that um, amazing. But anyway. Um, yeah, that's Black Sonic for it. It is a secret rare, too. Going on to another card, we got Eye of Tamias. I know that that name sounds really, really familiar, but going for around $10, too. I really don't know what the heck this does, um, to be honest, so I'm sorry. I don't know what a lot of these cards do, to be honest. I mean, heck, I didn't even know this set was coming out, like, until, like, a freaking, like, week and a half ago. Like, that's just, um, pathetic right there. But anyway... Yeah, this is one of the better cards to pull. So far, it's even it's going for even more money than Mathematician right now on Amazon. So, uh, if you can pull this, I mean, that's a pretty good card um, to pull. So, next up on the list is Wiretap. And as we all know, this is probably my favorite card to be released in this set. Because I just I think it's just a really nice card. I mean, it's not too overpowered, but it's just, it is really good. And it's really cheap. It's a super rare Going for three fifty eight right now. That's the cheapest on Amazon. Uh, I remember checking this morning; it was a little bit cheaper, so it has like gone up in price since the morning. But anyway, you know, basically anyone who's playing Seven Tools, I mean, obviously would probably want to switch it, switch it out for Wiretap. I mean, unless you don't want to get their trap card back to the deck. I mean, I don't really know why you wouldn't want to, but. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. There's no cost on activating this card, so you get to save your thousand life points. So I mean, it's just a really solid card, and obviously, you know, my favorite card of the set. Going on to Soul Charge, this broken OP card. I, I just, I'm not a fan of this card at all. I just, I just don't feel this card should be released to the game. I just think it's really unhealthy for the game. But anyway, anyway, it is a super rare. So I remember, I remember one guy i think like slimex team symmetry opened a box and he pulled like four of these so i mean that's already like forty dollars right there right off the bat you get um it is one of the more expensive cards it's a twelve dollar super rare right now obviously the most expensive super rare if this was a secret rare oh god this would be probably be like a thirty dollar card so thank you konami for only being a super rare um i gotta say for once konami actually does did us all a favor thank you and, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I gotta say. It's obviously the best card of the set. I mean, I don't know why anyone would think this isn't the best card of the set, but it's personally not my favorite. So, going on to the next card, we have Curry Bandit. This is a really good card. I know, um, I think its effect is when it's normal summon, you contribute it, and then in the end phase, you, you like mill five cards, and then you add a spell and trap card that was milled to your hand. So, I mean, just really good. And it is secret rare going for around the good old $13 range right now. And some of them are going for $14 too. So $13 to $14, well, definitely one of the more expensive cards in this set. So, I mean, watch out for that. Ends are just a really good card in general. And for the last two I wanted to talk about were Fire Hand and Ice Hand. Um, yeah, they're going for not not that much money. I mean, for, for secret rares, they're pretty decent cards. But, I mean, $5 for the, the Fire and... Uh, about five dollars for the ice, four ninety four, free shipping. But the second cheapest one is going for around six. So, 
um, I guess once these get bought, they will go up in price. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I'm sorry that Amazon doesn't have the pictures yet. But I just wanted to do a, a, a good old market watch on the, um, the the best cards, in my opinion, on the set. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, um, peace out. <laughs>